Hello guys, quite recently I've released a video about 7 mistakes about security that developers make and one thing I didn't mention in this video but I received some comments about that is how to protect your Laravel application when you're using stuff like Seeky Editor or other what you see is what you get editor because it contains HTML code and how to protect from so-called XSS attack. So here are the questions from the audience, 3 examples what do we do when we use the editor and how to show the unescaped data. Then another question is how to generally deal with the situation if there is a blog post and user can make a post including that HTML, how to prevent from script and general question how to store data written by text editors safely. So let's talk about that in this video. I will have a few general recommendations about security and I will show them based on the Seeky editor editor but those are general rules and it can be applied to other editors that you may use. It's just a different way of setting them, of configuring them. So first what we're talking about is this editor. So for example if there's a text editor and there are buttons which then transform into HTML code which is saved in your database, so stuff like paragraphs, bolds and other stuff is HTML. And then potentially someone can put some malicious HTML there, adding JavaScript, so that's the problem. Now how to solve that? First, in the configuration, my recommendation is to allow as low amount of features as possible. So only exactly what you need and you know what you're doing. So stuff like bold, italic, paragraph, maybe lists, maybe something else, but maybe you don't need image upload, for example, or you don't need more sophisticated like tables or something. Just keep it to the minimum. And depending again on your editor, in Seeky Editor case is just the configuration of toolbar, for example, or adding options here. So I've opened the documentation for Seeky Editor 5. You can add or remove plugins and customize the toolbar in quite a few ways. The documentation is very long. So generally, allow as low amount of features as possible. Specifically, the feature that you want to avoid at all costs because of security probably is allowing to edit the HTML source. So, for example, in Seeky Editor, you can install a plugin which allows you to edit the source. So, for example, you click the source and you are in the HTML and then you can edit it however you want. If you're a developer, of course, it's convenient for you to edit here instead of Visual Editor because you may have another style or something that is easier for you to configure in HTML, but generally it may be a security issue. So, don't allow that HTML. Another possible option is to use Markdown instead of HTML. And in case of Seeky Editor, for example, it's an installable plugin, but maybe in your editor it's enabled by default. So by all means, please disable it for security reasons. Another advice, let's explore it a bit deeper. I'll already mention it in this video. Instead of outputting to HTML, you could potentially output to Markdown, which is safe from XSS. So the example, for example, someone edits that in the editor and the result output in your database would be this. To enable that, you need to install a plugin. So installation is like this. And then you avoid dealing with HTML at all, including XSS and including potential JavaScript. But of course, then on the front end, when showing the data, you need to parse that markdown. But there are quite a lot of plugins for that. You can Google them out. And finally, if you do need to deal with HTML for whatever reason, there's a package called Purifier. There's a general HTML purifier, but there's also for Laravel, a package specifically for Laravel, which, and I quote, will not only remove all malicious code XSS with whitelist, but also apply everything that you need for compliance to the official specifications. So you just install that package and then run the text that you need through Purifier features like clean or purifier clean and there are more possibilities and configurations that you can allow something or restrict something again read the documentation of purifier for that so these are just a few general tips again check the documentation for your editor and for your specific situation if you have any more tips to add to that shoot in the comments below and for general laravel security tips if you haven't watched the video that i mentioned in the beginning i will link that in the description below Subscribe to the channel to get the daily videos and see you guys in those other videos.